So today we're going to be talking about magnets and what's the difference between a regular magnet or a magnet and a regular object uh, in terms of the particles in it. All right, so here we go, uh, our title. And sometimes I hate being short. Magnesium. Our title is something really imaginative like magnets. Um, so a magnet is unique because of its electrons. And it has to do with how the electrons are moving in a magnet. Now, well, raise your hand if you know what an electron is. Okay, good job. So you should have learned something about the structure of atoms in sixth grade. So an atom is made up of three particles, protons, uh, neutrons, and electrons. and electrons. For the most part, protons and neutrons just sit there in the nucleus and don't do much. And it's the electrons that do the, movie. the interactions. They're the ones that cause things to blow up and different things like that. Okay, so in most objects, let's say, this is a block of wood. You don't have to make it 3D if you don't want. I'll make it 3D. Okay, so in a block of wood, it's gonna have little atoms And the electrons are going to be spinning every which way. Okay. And the atoms are going to be held in place because this is a solid. So in a solid, the atoms are moving, but they're just vibrating in one spot. Okay. But within the atom, the electrons are just going all over the place. Okay, so here, there, everywhere, pretty up, random. Up, sideways. Up, down, sideways, diagonal, wherever. Okay, but in a magnet, The electrons are all spinning the same direction. Okay, so electrons spin randomly. Okay, and in a magnet. Electrons spin one way. All right, so here's our electron, or here's our atoms. Okay, and the atoms will have whatever normal structure that this object has, but the electrons are all spinning the same direction. Okay. So this is what makes something a magnet. Now the direction they are spinning toward, we call positive. We also call it north. So this is the positive or north end of the magnet. And the direction they're spinning away from is negative south. and south. Now, as your test for this, you're actually going to make a model magnet. Um, 
but uh, we're going to do a few more things first, including making an electromagnet. So, um, so north is the is the direction they're spinning toward. South is the direction they're spinning away from. And they also, when electrons spin, they create a field of energy around the object. And that field of energy goes out from the object a bit on each side. Kind of looks like this. Okay, so it'll actually come out the ends a bit, and it also goes out the sides a bit. And it will make it so that anything that is attracted to the magnet, such as iron filings, will take that same shape um, and kind of show us where that magnetic field is. Yeah. So um, is that why, so with all of them pointing in one direction and those two directions, is that why the main reason they don't cut, like the main, I can't speak, the electromagnetic fields are the strongest near the, the poles? That's exactly right. So, that's why if you try to stick something to the side of a magnet, it doesn't usually work. Ah, yes. Because yeah, you're just magnet. kind of pounding on the edge of that field. The field is aligned with the electron. Oh. So, the two ends are where the attraction is. So yeah, that's exactly right. Now I know how a magnet works. Now you know how a magnet works. You can create a magnet out of steel or iron by exposing it to a large amount of electricity or a very strong magnet. Another interesting thing about magnets is the earth is a magnet. So here's the earth. Can we draw the earth? Yep, draw the earth. This will be the last thing we draw. It's the last thing we draw. I don't well, not ever, draw. but today. <laughs> okay, so here's the earth. Here's the tilt. Okay, I was just teaching the sixth graders about the tilt of the earth and how it causes the seasons. Wow. Memories for you, I hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... The Earth is spinning, okay, and the most important thing is the Earth's core is, is spinning, and the Earth's core is made of molten iron and nickel or actually really hot, but not molten. It's actually solid. So it's, and we're gonna learn more about that in our next unit, but it's held there by the density of everything else pushing down on it. But it spins. And because it's metal and because it's spinning, it actually has set up a magnetic field and basically made the earth a giant magnet. And so, right here, through the earth, here's north, here's south, but you can also think of it as positive and negative. And that electrical field, if you were to map it, looks just like the one we drew for a bar magnet. And what that magnetic field ends up doing is repelling a lot of stuff that comes at us from space, specifically radiation and nasty rays that could all kill us all from the sun and other places. Um, it bounces off that magnetic field and protects us. So. Um, there's also been a whole bunch of times throughout Earth's history that the polarity, so poles, the polarity flipped. North became south, south became north. 
and they keep talking about this might happen any day now and all the planes are going to crash and everything's going to blow up and the world's going to end. And evidence shows us that it happens relatively quickly and I don't think it's really going to cause that much mayhem when it does. But that's my personal opinion, so feel free to research that. Yes? Okay, so not all planets have layers like our Earth does, and they don't have that spinning core. So as far as I know, the Earth is the only one that has a magnetic field. So magnets wouldn't work. Right, magnets wouldn't. A magnet by itself might work, but the planet itself is not a magnet, and so um, it you doesn't repel really all those nasty special. rays and stuff like that. It would be harder to live there. Yeah. So if you end up like a, a, like a hundred yards up from the Earth's surface, and you drop a pound of a magnet and a pound of wood, would a magnet have to What an interesting question. Like if we like made all variables the same, like Earth, Earth, uh, right. Earth, so in our last unit, we learned that everything falls at the same rate. Actually, we're going to do more with that, though. Um, we're going to do a lot more with uh, everything falls at the same rate. So I think we could actually test that. Um, obviously not from that far up, but we might be able to test that. Um, the Earth is a very weak magnet, which you can tell um, by using compasses. If you have a compass that's next to a, um, a magnet, it goes haywire and it doesn't work. Um, likewise, um, so I've been doing, um, I'm an assistant scout master for a troop of girls, girl boy scouts, if that makes sense. And uh, we do orienteering. And when we get our compasses out, if I get it too close to my watch, which is an Apple watch, it goes haywire. Okay. So I actually have to take my watch off in order to do orienteering. So um, same with your phone, if you get your phone too close. Um, but you can actually get a compass on your Apple watch, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, there's my... Uh, Compass. There's my compass. So, um, and we actually were using this compass to compare it to the real compasses because this one does not actually work on magnetism. This one works using GPS satellite signals. Wow. So it's a fake compass. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, going back to your question, the Earth is a very, very weak magnet. If you have anything else that's closer, it'll mess up your signal um, that you can get from the Earth's magnetism. So, Matthew. Can you tell us um, this as a, like, a while ago when you were playing with magnets, but it can demagnetize? Uh, yeah, it can also demagnetize your uh, electronics if you have a strong magnet. Uh, a compass won't, but you can demagnetize a compass fairly easily, which is why I never use the compasses we use for actual compass stuff because they've been bombarded with magnetism. Yeah, Tessa. Um, so does One of the layers of the atmosphere, like the outermost layer is magnetic field, yep. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Adelina. If you were like in the center of the Earth, I'm not sure. Because that's where the magnetic field originates <clears throat> from. That again might be an interesting thing to look up. So anyway, that's basically what a magnet is, is it's all about the electrons and how they're spinning. So further questions? All right. Goodbye, distance learners. <laughs>